Hello, it's Matt and welcome to Collaboration Coach. In this video, I'm going to talk about a brand new app for Microsoft Teams called Updates. This app lets you create different types of updates for your team, like an incident report or a shift handover. It's a really nice way to capture, share and track information with your team, all inside a familiar looking Teams app. So I'm going to show you how to submit and review updates, how to get the data and how to create your own templates. So let's see how it works. You can install the app from the left hand rail in Microsoft Teams. You just hit the ellipsis and then type updates into the search box. And you should see the purple updates app. Choose that and then add it. And now it's installed, you can pin it to the rail and you can pop it out too and use it separately if you want to, just like any other app. Now we have the updates app installed, you can see that it's split into two pages, submit and review. You're either submitting updates or reviewing them. On the submit page, I can see all the updates I have access to. There are the ones in the scheduled and important sections. And then down here are all the updates that I've already submitted. The updates themselves are just forms that collect information. This incident report, for example, if I click on it, it opens the form for me to complete. I can enter the information about the incident and then choose who should see it. They are called the viewer. And when I submit, that update is added to the Your Submissions list. The incident report was a one-off update, but you can also have reoccurring ones too. This weekly update was assigned to me by Amrit. He wants me to report on what I'm up to each week. You can see there's a due date on it so he can set when he needs the update. And when I open that up, I can fill it out and submit it. And that gets added to my submissions list too. The review page shows you all the updates that have been submitted for you to review. At the top, I have my scheduled updates. These are the ones that are recurring. This marketing project report update is scheduled for every day and there are five submissions required per day. So five people need to send me an update and I can see one person has submitted already and four haven't. So it's running at 20%. So you can see I can track how that updates going just at a glance. But if I open it up, I can see who submitted their update and when. And if I click on the submission, I can see all the information that they entered into the form. I can also see how this particular update is configured. This update is due every day by 12 o'clock and it was assigned by Matt and the submissions will be reviewed by Polly, Matt and Amrit. To save time, you can choose a team as a submitter as well as individuals. The submitters are the marketing team. And that's why there are five submissions required for this update, because there are five members of the marketing team. Now, because this is Teams, everything that happens in updates shows up in the activity app. If you get assigned an update or there's a new submission for you to review, it will appear in your feed and show you a banner. Here I can see Amrit sent me an update to view and I can click on that and it will show me the update on the right hand side. All these updates that we've looked at so far are just Microsoft Forms. We can also view them through the Microsoft Forms app. This is really useful if you want to consolidate or export the data from all your different submissions. So if I go to the Forms app in the browser here, I can see a form for every update I created in Teams. For example, this incident report that we just saw in Teams. So I can open it up and I can see that I'm not allowed to edit it. And that's because any change must be made in Teams. I can see all the updates in one view on the responses tab. And there are four to review here. I can scroll down through all the responses on this page and I can check the answers of each question. I can go into each submission through the view results page and I can page through each submission and see how it was answered. 
I can delete and print the response from here too. And if I go back to the responses page, I can even export the results into Excel. And from there, I can create graphs or attach it to Power BI. Now, let me show you how to create an update template because your team chooses a template to submit their update and you can control what they see by managing the templates. Up here on the right hand side, you'll see a link to create and manage templates. On the manage templates page, I can see a list of all the templates that my team can submit. Here's the marketing report progress update that we saw earlier. If I open it up, I can enable it or disable it. And on the next page, I can change the form design. I can click into each question and make changes to it. I can remove the questions that I don't need. And I can also add new choice, text and date questions. On the next page, I can set who the submitters are and who the viewers should be. And I can set the repeat settings to make this a recurring update. I can also create my own templates with the new template button. That allows me to either start from scratch or use an existing template. So say I wanted to create a daily update for my team. I could choose that template to get me started. Then I could take out the questions I don't need. I want to make the submitters my team and I'm gonna choose marketing. And I'll make the viewer me and Polly. And I just need to type the names and look them up in my directory. On the advanced settings, I could select a due date for every day of the week except Fridays. And now when I publish, everyone in the marketing team will see the update. They'll also be reminded that it's supposed to be used every day except Friday. Now, one more thing I wanted to show you. You can use the updates app inside of chats and channels. If I'm in the marketing team and in the general channel and Amrit asked me for a project progress report, I can reply to his post and choose the updates app from the ellipsis here. It will show me all the updates that I can submit. I'm gonna choose the marketing project progress update. I can post it to the channel so everyone can see that it's done. And Amrit will see it in the channel post, a notification in his activity feed and on the updates app itself okay guys so that is the new updates app for teams we've looked at submitting reviewing and creating new update templates so let us know what you think in the comments and if you like the video then please subscribe to the channel and i'll see you next time